The hit Fox show The Cleaning Lady has been renewed for a second season. We had the chance to talk to the woman who developed the series when she was here in Austin recently for the ATX Television Festival. She tells us in her own words all about the show and what we can expect when it returns this fall. Hi, I'm Miranda Kwok. I'm the executive producer and series developer of The Cleaning Lady. Essentially, it's a story of uh, Tony, who is this whip-smart Cambodian doctor who comes th uh, from the Philippines to the U.S. in search of a bone marrow transplant for her son. But when the bone marrow donor backs out, she's left with the choice. Either she can go home, where there are no resources to save her son, or she can stay, overstay her visa, and uh, start working as a cleaning lady with um, with her undocumented sister-in-law, Fiona. Um, but then she ends up in the wrong place in the wrong time and ends up cleaning for the mob. Um, I mean, the the immigration themes, the themes about um, health care and the challenges of getting health care um, are all things that really um, are important to, to me and that really drive the show to me that like that's the reason to do the show. Um, but at the same time, we're able to have this really fun um, dynamic crime drama. Um, and so we are able to sort of, you know, give a little a little um, candy with the medicine. Right. And, and, and interweave these stories. So it's more like a Trojan horse so that we're able to dig into these topics and issues, um, but in a very entertaining way, and a way that actually touches you emotionally. It's a universal story um, at the core, and that's, again, what speaks to people. You know, it's a mother fighting for her son. It's, you know, people trying to do anything they can for their families. It's about sacrifice. It's about love. And um, all these things are, 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 are things that speak to all of us and our humanity. Um, so I think that's, you know, that's what's really resonating with people and touching people. There's a lot of fun in this show, and especially with Tony and Fiona. Um, you know, they, they're so amazing together. They play off of each other really well, and they, they instantly had a, had a bond. They instantly had this sisterly bond. And so uh, we have a lot of fun with them on the show and, you know, how they navigate, you know, their situation in, in Vegas. And it's a lot of fun to be had in Vegas as well. A lot of the first season was about Tony doing anything she can for her son and, and trying to you know find a, a health solution for him and navigating so many different um, challenges to do that, you know, navigating health care, but also navigating the mob and navigating the FBI um, and being, you know, sort of caught between the mob and the feds and how is she going to, how is she going to get out of it or is she? Um, and so the, you know, the season finale sort of is a culmination of all that, of all these pressures bearing down on her and, um, and then fig her trying to figure out how she does get out. At the same time, while she's navigating all these things and all these pressures and the mob and the feds, um, is that she took her eye off the ball, which is her family. And because of that, her family gets ripped apart at the end of season one. Um, and so that is now her new challenge. And most of the drive of season two is how to protect her family as, as of course, more forces are going to, you know, that are going to be um, against her and she's going to be thrust against more challenging situations. Yeah. The Cleaning Lady is set to return in September. If you'd like to see the full interview with Miranda, head to the Fox 7 Austin YouTube channel.